you'll remember from part one of this video, I took you all grocery shopping with me in my new home of Southern Italy. In the last video, I left you with these delicious cookies, so I'll pick up there and then continue on. Should I try one right now? Yeah. Mmm. Oh, snap. Oh, that's good. Italy has got their biscotti situation on lock. So good. Let me continue. Another one of my favorites, and again, thanks to the suggestions you all have given me on Instagram, Pandistelle. The chocolate hazelnut delight. It's, these are so good. They've got these like sugar stars on them. Ugh. Another favorite cookie, Abracci hugs. And you can tell why they call them a hug. It's because the two cookies, it's like the vanilla and the chocolate, are hugging each other. It's so sweet. So real quick, let's talk about grocery lists. Are you a big grocery list writer? I do tend to write the list, um, not in any particular order, not super well thought out, although I do a like pantry assessment before I leave. I have to tell you how my friend Jen writes a grocery list because it is next level. This is like grocery list goals. It's broken down into orders of what items to pick up first. It's like she visualizes her grocery store and what she'll need to get where. She color codes it. Like I said, it's very impressive. That's not how I do my grocery list. So I had to do a second grocery stop for Thanksgiving, which was the week that I was shooting this video. And uh, hello, American in Italy. I wanted to do something to celebrate. So I did an extra shopping trip for Thanksgiving specific items. So I'll pass it off to that Katie who will pick up here. All right, just went to the grocery store part two um, for a mini haul, but a Thanksgiving specific haul. That included potatoes for mashed potatoes, dried cranberries, which was, I was amazed that they had these. Everything I saw online said it's impossible to get fresh cranberries, which actually proved to be true, but I was thrilled to find dried cranberries. And instead of fresh cranberries, I got currants, fresh currants. I also got some pecans. I'm thinking I will do a sugary pecan crumble on, uh, when I have some brown sugar already, on some sweet potatoes, which is also what I got. I was so surprised to see that sweet potatoes are not that deep orange color that I'm used to. These kind of have the color of a regular potato. I was super stoked to get these Campari soda and they're these cute glass, little glass containers. So that's, that's gonna be a Thanksgiving treat. Thanksgiving aperitivo. I don't know how I lost footage of um, the spreads I got at the grocery store. Very important part. So let me just correct that right now. This is the Pendistelle spread. So this is the spread version of the cookies. Epic, so many people um, suggested that I get this. And I'm going to put it in a Thanksgiving babka today. So, win! Nutella that we all know and love. The reason I got this kind in this particular glass jar is because my friend Natalie, hi Natalie, suggested to use, after the Nutella is eaten, to use this as a wine glass, which is genius because we don't have wine glasses in this apartment yet. And now I didn't just get this on this grocery store haul, but I need to tell you about this epic, epic pistachio spread. It's so delicious that I'm gonna have a spoonful just to show you how delicious it is. Mm. So my plan is, to make pistachio cookies. That's a post Thanksgiving plan. I got this because someone suggested on Instagram that this is actually, they prefer this over the pan di stelle 
spread and Nutella. So I was like, all right, all right, I'm gonna give it a go. So actually I might, oh, I should do a taste test. For today's taste test of chocolate hazelnut spreads in Italy. A beautiful, beautiful thing. All right, I'm going with Nutella first because I've had it so many times before. Chocolatey, nutty. In terms of viscosity, I think it's the most, I mean, it really is, is smooth. It like runs really nicely, cleanse my palate. The pan di stelle right next to the Nutella, let's see. Mm-hmm, mm. It's a little fudgier in texture. Again, those little bits of, I thought it was the cookie itself, but someone told me on Instagram that it's actually the, the sugary star bits that are the crunchiness um, in there. I love, I'm a texture person. And so I love the, the smoothness, the rich, smooth thickness of the spread and then the, the crispy crunchies in there. So delicious. And moving on to numero tre. It's definitely more like the pan stelle in terms of texture. It's not quite as runny as the Nutella. Color, it's a little, it's, it's like a richer, deeper, darker brown. Mmm. Mmm. There's something about it that tastes a little more like real <laughs> than the Nutella. They're all amazing. Now it's just a matter of not eating them all really fast. One thing I forgot to mention that I think is quite interesting is that the baking soda is not found with the baking things in the grocery store. It's near bottled water and stuff. Another thing that I think is really interesting that I've learned since I've come to Italy. So I'm about to make some pasta and in it, I don't put just any salt. I don't put sale fino, sale fino, fine salt. No, no, no. For pasta, it's sale grosso. So I didn't have to get any of this at the grocery store on my haul yesterday, but just so you know, in Italy, for salting your pasta water, you better get sale grosso. Thank you for joining me on today's Italian grocery store haul. That was fun. I have a lot of eating and making food and snacking and sipping to do now. Let me know if there's any Italian foods either that I included in the video or that I didn't, but you think I should try. Please let me know in the comments below. I can't wait to hear from you. I'm so excited to keep eating my way through this delicious country. Ci vediamo presto. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Don't forget to keep it quirky. Bye.